I have probably put more hours into Oblivion than like nearly any other game I've ever played. I mean, at the very least it's in the running. So while I'm already in the midst of doing this enormous overview of exactly what all goes into a vegan playthrough of Skyrim, I thought, what about a video that doesn't take half a year of script rewrites and instead something a little more laid back? So we're diving right in. Can you beat Oblivion as a vegan? As always, this is our veganism definition, by the way. You know, I, I actually prefer Oblivion to Skyrim in like pretty much every regard except for one major point. This art direction, oh my god. Look at Morrowind, then look at Oblivion. What happened there? Okay, pause the video really quick. Go to the comments and tell me what you think I'm going to name this character. This vegan character. How will this vegan character introduce themselves to people with- Oh wait, <laughs> God damn it! why the f*** did I tell you all to pause the video before explaining why you're supposed to pause in the first place? <laughs> now you can't hear me. You're all just staring at a pause screen waiting for further instruction. Come back! It was a mistake, unpause, please. Okay, so for anyone who guessed I'm vegan in the comments, you win a cookie. A uh, dairy-free, egg-free, sugar-not-produced-with-animal-bone-char cookie. I think I'm gonna go with a high elf because they they just come across as the most self-important and condescending group in Tamriel. You know, that's two very important vegan traits. For hair, we're, we're gonna go with a green tonsure. It's imagery, you see. Uh, the green indicates that we eat plants, while the tonsure indicates that we live a monastic lifestyle, and also that our hair is falling out due to poor nutrition. <laughs> Oblivion really lets you go buck wild with character creation, so I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna create the perfect vegan specimen. All right, there we go. See, we've got large eyes on the sides of our head for spotting predators while we, you know, nibble clover and stuff big cheeks for storing nuts and seeds, and a big old nose for sniffing out nutrient-rich tubers buried beneath the soil. This will be our champion. And we're off. First thing, as always, strip down. Hey, no leather belt on our underclothes, that's a good start. So what can we, what can we do in this game? Do we like, create still life compositions? Hmm. Yeah, just, just a little, okay, right there. Yeah, yeah, like that. No, not this. You know, I think I can actually wear this stuff. Wow, yeah, all this junk looks like it's leather free. That's honestly kind of surprising. Oblivion's doing a lot better than Skyrim so far. All right, uh, a little lacking in color variance, very little intrigue in the light and shadow department. Honestly, an uninspiring arrangement. I give it a D plus at best. Okay, I, I should actually play the game. Also, I'm I'm pretty sure using someone's skull as this is like commodifying them in some way. Hi, elf. <laughs> Bro, I can't even see your eyes. You're so small. There we go. <laughs> this is literally that how not to talk to short people meme. Oh, the guards are coming. Time to let them know how I feel about these meal options. Prisoner, stand away from the door. Over by the window now. Hey, do you want to see me do a cool jump? Check this out. Are you proud of me? Do you think I'm cool? I've seen you. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Okay, the devs had to know exactly what they were doing, you know, putting that line in the game after giving the player the ability to just create the most uncanny faces possible. Oh my god, dude, these shadows are out of control. Can we, like... Nope, that's... <laughs> that's totally the same. There's no way to open it from the other side. Looks like this is your last day. I'm watching. Out of our way. Don't try anything. I'm watching. I am literally not trying anything right now. <laughs> we look like a f***ing capybara given human form. There's trouble ahead. Close up left. Protect the Emperor. Wow, well, your guy's captain sucked. That was one hit. Captain Reno. Did she drop any good loot? Oh, a katana. Okay, I'm just gonna take everything here and do a little fashion show to see if it's vegan. Nothing really obvious on this hood. I guess red dyes aren't always vegan and we don't know if it's like silk or wool, but... Okay, a katana. Huh. Wow, I legitimately don't see any leather on this or the sheath. 
steel short sword. Okay, that's lit. Wait, no, no, that's a, that's a wooden sheath. Oh my god, dude, Oblivion is so much more vegan friendly than Skyrim. We don't have to worry about the thing where like every weapon is made from leather, like in Skyrim, because Oblivion doesn't have a crafting system. This this rules. We can we can fight stuff. <laughs> Let's go, bring it on, game. Oh wait, never mind, it's rats. Okay, so I'm obviously not gonna go around killing animals. Come on, fellas. <laughs> We're friends. There's no need for this. What do you want? I'm leaving. There are perfectly good corpses to eat right there. You don't need to make a new one. An axe? Okay, that, that's leather. See, we, we can't use this. Ah. Guys, seriously? Ah. Ah. Oh great, another one. All right, that's blatantly leather. Arrows are gonna have the feathers. Uh, let's check lockpicks. Sweet, no leather on the lockpick. We can we can do this. Oh come on, dude! How did I manage to f that up? Guys, for the love of God, I'm leaving. All right, so same deal as Skyrim with the potions. You can since there are non-vegan potions in the game, and we don't know what ingredients went into these. That we we know we can't use them. Scrolls? That I don't know. I'm distracted by the rats right now. We'll think about this one later. I'm leaving. Christ. Oh yeah, we can actually use magic in this game. Um, unlike Skyrim where the you learn spells through leather tomes, you can just buy them through like direct knowledge transfer in this one. So it can actually heal off some of this rat damage. <laughs> for the love of God. Bro, I'm just trying to get out of here. There's no need for this shit. Oh my God, that's so many more rats. Hey, 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 leave him alone. Dude, dude, I'm trying to help you here. Am I just building up a pissed off rat Katamari? Wait, why is there a dead rat? Oh no, they're in fighting! No! Well, I mean, it looks like they've settled their differences. They found a bigger threat. Me. Okay, so there's this chest over here that as a teen I always fucked up trying to open. God damn. How do I suck so bad? Okay, almost, almost. I hate myself. Yeah, honestly, Mr. Rat, I kind of deserve this. Oh, our first vegan food option. Now, guys, guys, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I stole your food. That was rude. I admit it. They will not let up. Dude. Man, I can't seem to harvest anything down here. Oh my god! What the fuck? How are there this many rats down here? For the love of God! Holy hell, we're free. All right, let's, all right, oh my God, let's finally check up on some of this inventory. Dagger, and that's leather. Club, club's all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop all this other stuff because I'm a blunt weapons kind of guy. Iron armor, leather, leather, scrolls, hmm. Okay, so you can make this. Okay, so it looks like you can make scrolls yourself in Morrowind, but in Oblivion, it's kind of gray how they're made. So I'm gonna carry them around, but I probably won't use them. Oh, an enemy! It's stealth time. All right, that didn't pan out. Damn, goblins are like sapient, right? I feel kind of cruel for basically just killing them in their own home. Oh wait, never mind. Okay, retroactively, I was killing that goblin to get revenge for this rat. So we've got a pestle and mortar, which means we can make our first vegan poison. <laughs> okay, we gotta name this properly though. <laughs> hey dude, you're trapped there. <laughs> well, that was pretty worthless. Oh! Damn, that certified vegan poison packs a punch. Oh, bear pelt? Yeah, you deserved your fate. Meh, meh. Dude, it is so dark. Wait, can we use torches? Okay, um, yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. It's not like it's a big deal. We can switch to the, you know, confirmed vegan lighting method. <laughs> That's, uh, kinda better. Oh, hell yeah, some apples. It's... What the hell was that? Bro. Bro, stop. All right, you forced my hand. Wait, where the hell are these guys getting goat skulls to wear as masks down here? Why am I fighting you like this? I can just use magic. It's vegan in this game. 
Yeah, they, they don't have goat horns. Like, they've got to be finding these skulls somewhere else. Oh no, they've definitely domesticated these rats for food. Looks like it's time for animal liberation. Man. Be free. See, you're safe now, little critters. This motherfucker has a cauldron full of skulls. Oh, fell in the cage down there. <laughs> See, look at this inventory. I'm doing the right thing. Saved all these rats from a terrible fate. Wait, what was the shaman carrying? Yeah, I can't quite justify using this staff. It has a literal severed goblin head mounted to it. And I mean, goblins are animals just as much as rats or humans or elves are. Okay, a ruby, a mace, soul gem, which... The gem itself is vegan, they're naturally occurring stones in this universe, but the soul that's stored within it, that can't be sourced, so that's a no-go. What? Dude, what? I just liberated you! Why are you attacking me? None of my good deeds go unpunished. <sighs> what? Oh my god, stop! I was just trying to read an article on soul gems! Yay, yeah, I'm helping. Damn it! It's that prisoner again! Kill him! No, he is not one of them. They cannot understand why I trust you. It's because I have a disarming appearance that triggers your empathy response. You know the Nine, how they guide our fates with an invisible hand. Uh, the gods reinforce unjust hierarchy for their own benefit. I know these stars well, and I wonder which side... Oh god, you're about to read my star chart, aren't you? If I had a dollar for every time a drunken girl or gay guy at a party has asked me this, I'd have at least ten dollars. Okay, what's our sign? We've got the Apprentice. More MP, but we're weaker to magic. It's a cool sign, probably my favorite, honestly. The Lady, General Stat Buff. The Mage, or as I like to call it, the Apprentice for Cowards. The Thief, probably the best General Stat Buff in this list, honestly. The Atronach. The apprentice for twisted f***ing psychopaths. Whatever, I'm just going with the steed. I've learned that we need the extra speed to outrun angry rats. You shall follow me yet for a while. I don't really know if I can then follow you. You're wearing a lot of fur there. You may as well make yourself useful. Here, carry this torch and stick. No, hey, no. I just established I'm not using torches. Stick close and let us do our job. You'll be all right. <laughs> Jesus Christ, head catapult. What was that? Bro, if you're worried about getting hit, don't stand in front of the guy that sucks at aiming. That's really on you. Don't push me, prisoner. I literally can't stop myself from committing friendly fire. Dog, look at my bodyguard. I'm definitely getting assassinated. Damn it! The gate is barred from the other side. A trap! Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your life. I mean, I'll, I'll do my best, but if a rat comes in here, I'm switching teams, dude. I can go no further. Well, you can't just give me that. I don't know if this amulet is vegan. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him and close shut the jaws of oblivion. <laughs> hey, Patrick, Mr. Stewart, is that is that the take we're going with? Of oblivion. Ah, damn. Did all I could there. We failed. I failed. Uh, yeah, you're, you're the one that failed. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. I think he just technically admitted to cheating on his wife. First, you need to get out of here. There are rats and goblins down there. Oh, God, more rats. I'm guessing you're an experienced Nightblade. Am I right? I'm, I'm a what? Oh cool, we get to choose our class. Yeah, I'm I'm not whatever the hell a Nightblade is. All right, uh, which guy here has the least leather? <laughs> Looks like uh, probably the wizard. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take full advantage of the fact that magic is vegan in Oblivion. We're gonna go full blown mage. As far as skills go, I think the only two arguably non-vegan skills are gonna be marksman because of you know arrows and feathers and Conjuration, because I think all summoning spells involve tearing creatures away from the planes of oblivion and binding them to fight for you. So that's that's not vegan. I'm gonna go with acrobatics, athletics, alchemy, restoration, sneak, destruction, and illusion. 
class. Oh, what what am I gonna name my class? What what would my character say about themselves? What would what would they call themselves? Hmm, I wonder. You know what? Let's, don't pause the video this time. Just take a wild <laughs> take a wild guess what I'm gonna put here. All right, so um, my real job is insanely busy right now. I don't actually have a day off from work for a few weeks, so I'm throwing out this lower effort content in the meantime to show that I'm still alive. I'll pop back in on this series as time goes on, probably as a little background thing when I need to take a break from the heavier edited stuff. As always, a huge thank you to my wonderful patrons over at patreon.com forward slash poordance. But in addition, I'd like to send out a specific extra thank you to the patrons who upgraded to my newly released higher tier of support, Malakandra, Mazakine Maze, Mr. Floyd, Rain the Little Lamb, and Sour Pears. Thank you all so much. Anyway, thanks for watching.